Welcome back to The Perspective on Brita Sartu. I'm Blaise Hope with Julius Fedaus, the countertenor singer, star of Australia's Got Talent, and now Indonesian television and culture. Well, we've been speaking about your voice. We've heard a snippet of it uh, from your, your warm-up routine. Um, and normally we just talk on this show, but I'd love to hear you sing. Oh, cool. So, um, we spoke Ness and Dorma. <laughs> Everyone knows this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are, are you ready to... To, to give us something? Oh, how can I say no to you? How okay. can I say no to Brita Sato? You guys have been so nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sure. You ready? You ready? Are guys you ready? ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a bit too high, yeah, for a, yeah, a morning show. <laughs> oh, no, no, we will, we will run this the whole time. All Everyone right. will be ready. Oh, my God. <laughs> <What>? No. <laughs> it's quite an experience to be sitting next to that. Oh, the power. Do you feel that? Well, you... I am holding back a little bit because, um, you know, uh, when I have to sing in a big opera house, in a proper opera house, then I'm, I will give my all. But I think opera singers, sometimes we need to be smart to learn a little bit about the acoustic, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry. You, you think about it, you want to perform yeah, to course, it. Of course, of yeah. course. Like, uh, before I have to sing in a venue, I will always come and uh, try to do some warm-up and learn how does the building wants me to sing, uh, where to project my voice and things like that. Because yeah. um, opera singers, we are trained to sing without a microphone in a, um, a, a, a building that can fit like 3,000 people. You have to um, sing on top of the um, usually like about maybe 50 people playing on the orchestra yeah. and maybe hundreds of people singing in the choir. So the soloist, you need to be able to project your voice so they can still hear you. The guy at the very back has to be able to hear exactly you. Exactly right. No microphone, yeah? And, I mean, and no such a big, yeah. So if, if, if I, um, uh, the reason why you, um, opera singers doesn't sound pleasant all the time because they have to sing they all, all the time. And if they are singing in such big, uh, I mean, in such a small venue, uh, of course people will, oh, that is too loud, right? You've so, got to. So yeah. yeah, I hold back a little bit. No, it was great though. But I mean, um, <laughs> well, I, I remember when I was uh, at school, <coughs> very young, it's sort of eight, they took us, we, you know, on a little school trip, we went to, I can't remember what opera house, but in London, some, some, some venue in London. And that night there was an opera and we met one of the singers, a, a woman, and she would not speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said, look, I, I won't, and they just said, look, she's not going to speak to you. She's, she's got to save her voice. Yeah. What's the level of preparation that you go through before a, perfor a performance on the scale of an opera house or mm -hmm. where you've really mm -hmm. got to go for it? I don't I'd like to note, by the way, that you were sitting down as well, <laughs> but yeah, that which, Im which impressed me. But yeah. Cool. Well, yeah, um, opera singers usually, we don't talk like for the whole day. We do our um, um, stretching, our um, body movement and body stretch in the morning if we have to perform that day. We have to, you know, we're using our muscle, our muscles. <laughs> and um, after that, we will do our warm up just to check whether the voice is there, whether the um, placement is there, whether everything is right or not. Um, because we're human, you know, um, we tend to change day by day. So if we feel like, oh, I got it today, I got it, the voice is there. It is, um, you know, usually when the voice is easy to work with, then you, you, need to, you need to worry about nothing. So you will just like eat good food and um, had a great day, <laughs> really enjoying your day. And not to speak that much, usually people, I mean, usually opera singers, we don't talk on the day that we're going to perform. What do you, what do you eat? So what do you? Well, I mean, 
a true, a real opera singer, a real professional opera singer. Usually they just eat like bananas and steak and things like that. Pretty boring, really. But I'm Asian, yeah, so I love chili and I love, um, you know, rendang <laughs> and um, padang. You know, how long food. how long before a performance do you, do Have you start? tried Indonesia? You uh, do I eat Indonesia? every day, every day. Cool. I mix, I mix nice, about right? half and half, uh, uh, yeah. Western and, and Indonesian. And you can stand the... Um, oh yeah, I forced chili. myself to get used to it when I arrived. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I'm fully... My taste is Do you have uh, any favorite Indonesian food? Favorite? No. No? Uh, I had a fish in Arche that I still think about. Where? I went in Aceh. I oh, once Aceh. I ate wow. a, I you went ate to a Aceh. fish. I never even been to Aceh. Yeah, I just for a weekend. But I, I want. I ate a fish there that I still think about, and I thought I, I wish I could find that. Cool. Um, Let's go there. But there's some. I mean, I'm always, I always want to try new stuff. I find the uh, standard where like nasi goreng. I, it's nice, oh. but a bit boring. Yeah. I like the. Exactly. But yeah, this is about you. <laughs> so we turn, we turn it back. Well, food is about <laughs> me as well. I love food, we man. <laughs> But no, but, but but is there a certain point before you go on that you've got to you've got to make sure there's just not substance in your system? Yeah. You got to. Yeah. It's it's more to the um, 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 body stretch, like yeah. you need to stretch your hamstring, your calf, even yeah. and your uh, um, lower lower body because uh, all those energies always comes from the lower body. Mm -hmm. So this part up needs to be really. Um, Nothing to do, free. Yeah, it needs to be like as free as possible. While this part, you need to squinch as hard as you can, especially when you have to sing a, um, um, a high notes with a long phrase ring. Then you yeah. really need to. It's so kind of like holding your yeah. pee. Can I say pee? Yeah, yeah it's not right. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a right. tame enough, I think. <laughs> um, so your entire body's engaged mm -hmm. when you're. Yeah. Go and and of course. are you thinking about anything? What are you trying to say, please? No, no. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, do, you, do, you, do you kind of go, right. in, go into a, a, like a, like a fugue I state? You mean. Of course, I was yeah, just teasing yeah. you. Yeah, um, of course, I do think about something like um, because to, to sing is to work with your imagination. You need to think as if there's like um, you, you are singing to a spot like far, far away, and you need to project your voice there. In terms of a, um, engaging my diaphragm, I, <laughs> I, I always imagine that I'm doing a deadlift. Okay. Yeah. So when I sing, uh, when we sing, not just me, but all opera singers, we will, we will in, in, in classes, yeah, in our training, we sing while carrying some stuff. So push up, doing push up, or singing and things like that. Hmm. Well, uh, well, we're running out of time. But, <laughs> but um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure. You're welcome. You're more than welcome. If it's all right, uh, Ave Maria. Can we end with uh, a line? Sure. Of course. Of course. That's nice. Julius, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Well, that's it for now on The Perspective. Join us next time. <laughs>